So I'll be uh, focusing on end right now. That's all we've uh, gotten to so far. But uh, overall, I'm just trying to get better at the all around learning the defense and being a better, uh, better first step and uh, stuff in that area. I'm like, you want to be a Swiss Army knife, so you want to be able to play wherever you, uh, wherever there's an opportunity. So both sides. Oh no, I'm comfortable on either side. Nah, that's overthinking. At the end of the day, it's just football. As long as you're preparing the right way and you're not like. If I was to just train on the left side, then playing the right side would be hard. But I'm trying to be as versatile as possible, so I train on both sides. This facility is amazing. Like, <laughs> it's like we had a we had a nice facility at Iowa. But I walked in the building and I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is this is <laughs> this is top notch right here. But I'm just trying not to get uh, too caught up in like the uh, glitz and glamour of how uh, nice it is, and you know, still coming to uh, work every day. You know, because at the end of the day, like the building is nice, but everybody's expecting a nice product on the field. So that's what we got to get down to. What caught my eye the most? Uh, I don't, it, there's not one thing, honestly. It's all, it's, I haven't had time to just sit there and just look at one thing so far, but it's, everything's really nice. Everything's uh, top notch. Um, just uh, just co cohesion in a, uh, in the locker room and in your position room. You know, the tighter you are together, like no matter what anyone is saying on the outside, as long as you know that your brother has your back and you have his, then like it doesn't matter what the outside people are saying. Like together we're stronger. Oh, like the my whole plan was to uh, go to the league. I didn't know. I just didn't know where uh, I was going to end up. So, like, not too much actually changed. The grind didn't stop. Like, I was working the whole time, that whole time leading up to the draft, and I just kept that that uh, nose to the grindstone me uh, mentality up until I got here. New cousins? Nah, nah. There's there's always people that reach out and there's like uh, congratulations and stuff, but not for the most part. Not that I know of. I try. I keep my circle small. So like, if you weren't in that circle before, then well, no new friends. Uh yeah, we t we met uh Jerry today and it was it was nice uh meeting him in person, putting the actual person like getting to shake his hand and like seeing the guy that uh gave me the great news on draft night. So that was nice. And uh it's just been it's just been an experience this entire time and ready to keep it going. Uh, how did I figure that out? Like, there's always going to be fake love. Fake love is everywhere. And I, I learned that at a, at a young age, that there's, like, not everyone has your best interest at mind, at heart. And, like, if you, at, like, from the beginning, you got to protect, like, uh, number one, which is yourself. So you can't just let people, like, uh, come in your circle. And if they don't have the best at mind, they could... Uh, steer you in the wrong direction. So you got to just try to stay grounded and keep going forward.
Oh yeah, that's how I got my. That's how I got on the field my first time at Iowa. You know, I've always been trying to get on the field no matter where I where we're at. You know, so if I'm inside, like I'm just trying to make a play. At the end of the day, it's football.